And new at 11 o'clock as more of us get outside during this pandemic, Baltimore City wants to make sure there's enough space for everyone, even when social distancing. So now the Slow Streets program is going to be expanding. WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Menentoff is going to break this all down for us. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Rick. Good evening. The Department of Transportation has identified 65 miles citywide. And starting on Monday, you can go to the DOT website and nominate which streets you would like to close as part of this program. Over the next two weeks, you may see more signs like these. Road closed, local traffic only. The barricades on select city streets are intended to cut down on traffic, providing safer streets for physically distanced walking, running, and biking. Yeah, the more measures you can take to keep people safe is, is the most important in my view. The city tells WJZ it's launched successful pilot programs in Druid Hill Park, Lake Montebello, and Patterson Park, and says this model can be replicated in other parts of the city. The idea behind closing streets like East Pratt near Patterson Park is to give people more space to social distance. But some people who live in the area say this program hasn't had its desired effect. The people are going to come through whether the gates are here or they're not there. Holly Crum, whose family has lived in Patterson Park for 20 years, says she's noticed cars easily ignore the signage and says her street is already a really narrow one. We have one way going up and one way going down. I'm a little shocked by that, to be honest, uh, just because, you know, we got the park right here and that allows us to social distance pretty well. The DOT says it hasn't decided on an exact location for the expansion of this program, but it's hoping to narrow down its selection by the end of next week. We're live tonight in Baltimore. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.